I usually don't do two lives in a day, but I got this and it is way too good not to share. I mentioned this. I said as such, I said as much and people would tell me I was wrong and no, Neil, you're not reading this right. And here it is. I have the actual figures and facts to show you just how this is not working for them. They thought, oh, hey, we're going to leak these documents, galvanize the left, put pressure on Supreme Court justices and make them change their mind. Do you honestly think that the Supreme Court justices are just going to change their mind because the left has a freak out fest? Do you think Samuel Alito is going to go, oh, yeah, I guess it was wrong? No, this report is so awesome. It's going to just blow your mind. You're going to love it. They cannot raise funds off this issue and it's coming to pass, people. Okay, this is awesome. You're going to love this. Okay, real quickly. Hey, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack. BOGO deals abound over there at MyPillow right now. Go check it out. Never been a better time to get your products, especially in light of all the great things we're seeing here because I tell you this much, I know who Mike Lindell will be giving money to and it won't be the liberals, okay? So if you want to get some products, support good. And I won't be either, so there you go. Hey, Rainmaker 2, good to see you on. Smash that like as you come in and chat it up with where you are from. Check this out. Out of hot air, Dems worry. As fundraising fails to surge after SCOTUS leak about overturning Roe. Let me repeat that, people. Because this is what I said was going to happen. Because the other issues are bigger to the bulk of Americans. This is of sincere importance to me, okay? The right to life. And I think, you know, the fact that, you know, some people don't take it seriously enough is a problem. All that. It doesn't matter. Okay? Take that out of it for a second. It is not as big of an issue as it is to so many people out there in America because what they're concerned about is this rampant, rampant inflation, okay? So I'm going to read this again. Dems worry as fundraising fails to surge after SCOTUS leaked about overturning Roe. See, they leaked this to think it's going to change the midterms. The one that leaks too early, okay? So it's not creating the fundraising surge. It's too early. It's not going to create the narrative towards the election. It's too early. They screwed up, people, okay? But it gets better. So let me go on here. Is it two apples and oranges to compare their online haul yesterday to their haul the day after Ginsburg died in September of 2020? That was six weeks before a presidential election at a moment of high civic engagement when liberals were already shelling out money hand over fist to try to push Trump and the GOP out of power. Again, note that that was within six weeks. I'm telling you, too early. They screwed up, okay? and But there's a bunch of other ways they screwed up. Watch this. Whereas yesterday was just a spring day six months out from a midterm election when the news was dominated by a leak that may or may not portend the imminent demise of Roe v. Wade. Look at it this way, I guess. Had there been a gigantic spike yesterday in donations, that would be a signal that Dem voters really have awakened suddenly from their midterm stupor and that the outcome this fall might newly be in doubt. As it is, there's no such evidence. The day after Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, Democrat donors poured more than $30 million into Democratic campaigns and groups through Act Blue, shattering its own one-day fundraising records. In the 23 hours after Politico leaked the story, Act Blue took in just $9 million people. Just a minor uptick from the days prior. Okay? It's not working. And I, I said this wasn't going to work, okay? And, and not to be freaking out about this. I'm telling you. Oh, gosh. Midterm voters care. Listen to this. Midterm vote. They don't even have any money to give because the stupid government has inf you know, caused rampant inflation so much that their donors don't even have anything to give, okay? Midterm voters care about affordability first and foremost, and they are not people who are worried every single day about losing access to abortion, said Julie Roginski, a Democratic strategist who began her career as a researcher at the abortion rights group Emily's List. Ha ha, listen, here comes the quote, people. Come on, smash that like. Listen to this. This will just make your day. This is, a, again, a Democratic strategist, Julie Roginski, who began at Emily's List, okay? She says this, a direct quote. My fear continues to be that sometimes we as Democrats run on things that we wish the voters cared about rather than what the voters do care about. See, they're not seeing it come to pass. They're thinking it's going to gin everybody up. But understand, you know, you're dealing with a, a small slice of America that's that concerned about this. 
not every woman is running around out there thinking they need to go, you know, live however and then go and off their baby. Come on. You know, actually, the majority of America is pro-life by survey. People, we actually like babies. We do. They're great. Tell it to Roy Dixera, Julie. Dem strategists interviewed by Political broadly agreed with Roginsky's conclusion that the end of Roe might goose turnout at the margins, but certainly won't be enough in its own to relieve the party of the burden of high inflation. Just think, like these people are so bright because they are, they're telling, this is exactly what I said. Come on. You guys don't get, I said this the other day. This is so true. The Democrats have screwed up on everything else. You think that all of a sudden they're going to win? Like, and the majority of America is just going to get all, oh, no, women call off their babies, you know, this is terrible. This is terrible. We got to, you know, freedom, freedom, freedom to do wrong. That's what we need. <sighs> it's going to still be the bloodbath, people. Everybody, I, I, mean, I just couldn't believe all the Republicans the other day. I'm sorry I got so worked up about it, but. Oh, the red wave is over. All of a sudden, the narrative is gone. Are you kidding me? The narrative will never go away as long as people are running to the gas pumps. I just paid over $60 to fill a little Volkswagen TDI. 12-gallon tank. Diesel is at the highest price it's ever been, which only adds to all the prices you're paying on everything else. Inflation is completely and inexorably out of control. We have had 22 now, not 18 anymore, four more food processing or food distribution facilities burned down in North America in a short period of time. What is that all about? Okay, even if it's not some grand conspiracy, it's still going to dramatically affect the food prices even more. Okay, it's, it's out of control. The border is wide open. None of these issues are going away. Everybody's like, no, the narrative's lost. All these issues are going away now. No, they aren't. They can't even raise money with this issue, people. Ah, here we go. Some pointed to Terry McAuliffe's campaign in last year in Virginia, which tried to spook suburban women into turning out for him by warning that abortion rights would be at risk if Glenn Youngkin were to be elected governor. And what happened there? The very thing that I said would happen, that people left my channel over because I said we were going to win. So many people on our side, sadly, just want to lose. I, I just, I, it's weird to me. It's weird. They just have this self-fulfilling prophecy of loserism, Okay. That pitch fell short, although there may be an apples and oranges problem there, too. It was one thing to yammer about abortion being banned last year, and now, of course, it appears that it's fallen. Democratic pollsters told Politico that it's hard to accurately poll this subject since voters simply don't believe that Roe might really go. Okay, and here's the other thing. What they're going to find out, and see, this is what's so great, and I think it pushes the Supreme Court to actually issue the firm decision earlier. I think it's actually going to come out earlier than June now. So it works against them doubly because all these women in California are going to find out, oh, it didn't change anyways, okay? Because it's going back to the states, okay? It's going back to the states. It's not going away. Sadly, my state of Minnesota makes me want to move to South Dakota even more because it's a state that will actually honor life and we can choose just like we chose during the pandemic to move, okay? Just like we choose based on economics of states, just like we choose based on tax laws, okay? I'm telling you, I just, I think people always read this wrong. And let me give you an example of this. If you remember back in 2016, Republican strategists were running around like mad going, oh, Trump's going to lose, Trump's going to lose, Trump's going to lose because of immigration, because of immigration, immigration, immigration. Oh, my gosh, he's got it wrong in immigration. We need to embrace illegal immigration because that's going to win the Hispanic vote. And now if you look, over 40 percent of Hispanics don't want illegal immigration. They're seeing it wreck their communities. So the very issue that Trump was supposed to lose on, what did he end up doing? He won on that very issue. It was the issue that he won on people. These strategists on the Republican side always get it wrong. And they give you these doom and gloom scenarios that are completely out of line with reality. If you embrace this issue, you're going to lose. <coughs> if you fight against illegal immigration, you're gonna... no, illegal immigration will win again. People, that is a winning issue. The border with 200 and some odd thousand legal crossings last month, okay, is an issue that we will win on because all of America sees it. 
Insofar as we can trust a polling port polling right now, what do the polls say? There are two new ones this morning with good news and bad news for both sides. The bad news for Republicans and good news for Dems is that a solidity of Americans say they don't want it overturned. Okay. How many Americans wrongly believe, however, that overturning Roe means abortion will be banned nationally? What happens to the expected surge in Democratic enthusiasm, okay, once rank-and-file Dems realize that abortion... God, these people... I hadn't even read this whole article. I saw the headline, and I knew, and I looked ahead just a little bit. But listen to this. Exactly what I've been... What happens to the expected surge in Democratic voter enthusiasm once rank-and-file Dems realize that abortion will remain legal in blue states where most of them are concentrated? Will they wind up, will they, will the wind go out of the party's sails and route to the midterms? Yes, it will. That brings us to the good news for Republicans <coughs> and bad news for Dems in the polling. Well, it's true that this majority doesn't want Roe overturn, i.e. they want it to be legal at some point. They're willing to do much more, much more restrictive and setting cutoff dates than the average Democrat is. So from Fox, do you favor banning abortion at six weeks. The majority of Americans agree at 15 weeks. Majority of Americans agree by 50, by a 13 point spread, people. Now, I don't need polling to tell me what's right and wrong, but I'm just telling you, this is, this is what's going on. That's in line with America's views on abortion, numerous polling dating back many years. They oppose outright bans. Okay. So, you know, and they talk about, you know, um, Rape, incest, life of the mother. Fine. You know what? You can have those because that's uh, 97% of abortions aren't that anyway. So let's take the 97% and let them live. Uh, anyhow, here, here. I got to, let me see if I can get this to play and you guys can hear this because JD, so this is the recount. So here we go. They're already trying to gin it up, right? And go, oh, here it is. Let's see. And this is an a, a issue of freedom for working class women and moms because this is a very, in Ohio with, where we have very extreme laws around abortion, uh, rape and incest. So basically, <laughs> J.D. Vance and these other folks are telling a mom or a, a young woman that if she gets raped or if there's incest, that the state, <laughs> the government is going to make you have uh, bring that uh, uh, pregnancy. See where they're going. That's See where insane. they're going. And it's uh, in a free society, in a, in a country that's. And, and see, it, it's again, it's not working. This is Tim Ryan who's running against JD Vance. JD Vance is going to win in Ohio. This guy can do all he wants. He's not going to be able to raise his money. None of it's working for him, people. They they have pulled... And furthermore, you're going to see more confusion on the damn side because then they're going to be barking about which they're going to be having a complete nuclear meltdown inside the Democratic Party as they run around going, oh, which issue do we support now? What do we do? How are we going to win? How are we going to win? Because they're going to see that this isn't driving the poll numbers the way they want to. And they're going to look at the... The people are still going to be looking at the border. We need to focus on all of those issues and remind people 200 and some odd thousand legal crossings last month, inflation at record highs, canceling of the Keystone Pipeline, canceling of drilling leases, then saying, oh yeah, we're opening drilling leases, but we're increasing the cost of them. That's what the federal government's done now, and they didn't open the best ones. So this is the, the same lies that they keep spewing that we need to keep pointing out, people. The censorship, the, the, the Stasi running around telling us what we can and can't say, okay? That's, that's what's going on. And, and they don't, it's not working for them. It is not working for them. Okay? It's just awesome, people. They, it, they are going to lose so badly. And you're going to love every minute of it. Because we're going to get our country back. We're going to get our freedoms back. We're going to get a country back that honors life. That respects human dignity. That's the kind of stuff we're getting back. All right? And it's happening. And keep praying for revival, because that's what we ultimately need in this in this nation. So, anyhow, yes, uh, kitty cat, it, get out and vote. Anybody, I didn't even see if somebody's saying they're we're not supposed to vote. Just uh, just ignore those those kinds of people. Okay, you know we get engaged, we keep moving forward. You always vote, okay, and you always get involved locally. Thank you, Brian, for that. Local, local, local. That's what Democrats did years ago. That's why they were winning. And now if we can get back, and we, we always have to vote. Always, always, always. Get out there and vote.
overcome any built-in margins, okay? All right? I love y'all. I want to share that with you. Hey, remember, make sure, go to MyPillow.com, Revere Coffee Company, NeilJohnsonPhotos.com. All the links are below. Use promo code Lumberjack. You'll save big. We're going to win. We are winning. It's already happening, okay? They can't raise money off this issue. They don't even have any money to give because they've, they've, they've destroyed the economy. They've destroyed things with inflation. And now people don't even have money to give them. And not only that, people are going to care about that more than the other issues that they want everybody to get all worked up about, okay? We're winning. The Giza sheets are awesome. You're right. And they're buy one, get one right now, uh, JP Bass Sr. So if you're looking for presents, uh, thank you, William Tell. I love my kids too. They're awesome. All right. Peace out.